Hey everyone, I wanted to talk to you about this homework problem and give you another way to think about it. So I'm going to start by reading the problem. I've got someone who wants to invest a certain amount of money in an account that pays a certain interest rate and it's simple interest. And we want to know how long it will take for the investment to reach a certain value. So one of the formulas that we see is I, that's the total interest equals P, that's the starting value, R, T. So in this problem, they told us that the P, the present value, the starting value, that's the amount that they want to invest, is 8,600. The interest rate is equal to six and five eighths percent. The time is what we don't know, we're looking for that. And we want to know how long it takes to reach that final value, the future value, or sometimes it's written as an A of 12,200. So the first thing we need to do is the interest rate needs to be a decimal. So if you know what uh, 5 eighths is as a decimal, great. If not, open up a calculator. I like decimals. And I'm going to start by typing in five eighths, which is 0.625. So that means that our interest rate as, it, okay, so it's gonna take two steps to get this to a decimal. So first, 6.625%. And now to get it as a decimal, divide, by 100. So take this number, divide it by 100. Our rate is equal to 0 0.06625. So that's our rate. We know our present value. So we've got the present value. We've got our rate. Time is what we're looking for. I is the total interest earned. So to find I, we're going to compare the amount we started with and the amount we ended with. So this is our start. You put that much money in the bank. This is the end. This is how much you withdrew at the end and everything else is interest. So I'm going to take 12,200 and subtract 8,600. And we'll just do some quick subtraction. So that means that we earned $3,600 in interest by just sticking it in the bank for a certain amount of time. So this right here is our I. So now we're going to set up our problem. I'm gonna erase a little bit here so I have some room. So our formula is P uh, R T is equal to I. We know that, I'm gonna go all the way over here, sorry. I is 3,600. Our starting value, our present value is 8,600. Our interest rate was 0 0.06625, and time is what we're looking for. So I'm going to start by multiplying those two together. And so I'm going to pull out my handy dandy calculator in Desmos. Okay, so I'm going to multiply 8,600 by 0 0.06625 to get 569.75. So I'm going to write that down. 3,600 is equal to 569.75. There's a seven, five, T. So now we need to get T by itself. And so the way we do that is we're gonna use the idea of opposites. So anything divided by itself is one. And so our goal is to get a one T. And so to do that, we're gonna divide this by 569. 0.75 because these two values are being multiplied. 569.75 is being multiplied by t. So if we multiply both sides, divide, sorry, if we're dividing both sides by one, so right here, 569.75, 569.75, 569.75, 569.75, 569.75, 569.75, 
569.75, that divided by itself is one. So we're really left with one T is equal to whatever this works out to be. So come back over to decimals and we're gonna put in 3,600 divided by 569.75. And once we do that, then we get 6.3185. And now let's go back to the original problem. A little messy here, but it says round your answer to the nearest tenth of a year. That means one decimal. So our answer here is 6.3185. One decimal is just, uh, tenth is one decimal, so it's gonna be 6.3. So we'll come over here and type in 6.3 and hit enter and we're good. So let me know if you have any questions. Keep practicing the algebra and thank you for all you do. Have a good evening.